Once upon a Wednesday, a girl awoke with one thing on her mind. Apples. It was an early October morning in Seoul, autumn at its finest. She jumped out of bed and knew immediately what she had to do. She packed her gear, checked the map, and oh, and she forgot about us. Okay, she's back, let's go. Now you might be thinking to yourself, the market. We're going to the market for apples, aren't we? And you'd be right if we were talking about any other apple craving. But whatever this was that wormed its way into her mind on a Wednesday morning, it was going to take more than a trip to the market. As it almost always does, our day started with a train and a bus. And we have arrived at- You know, I can take it from here. Are you sure? Cause I can no, keep- No, it's good. You're okay. good. Come on, go with me. Good morning. So, um, Today we're doing something really exciting, but I just need to preface this by saying don't do what I did. And I took a bus here, which is kind of the only way to get here. And it lets you off on a very busy road filled with lots of very large trucks, like semi trucks, and there is no sidewalk. So I had to kind of walk in the wilderness a little bit to not get hit. And then I had to either continue doing that for another 20 minutes or I could just jump the barrier in the middle of the highway and I did that and I was fine um, but I just would like to say if like me you will come here on public transportation um, it is treacherous and not one thing that I would suggest you do but I'm here I'm alive I'm excited we are going apple picking and these before you freak out they're mini apples if you're like Carrie you're so large or these apples are so small the apples are small it's mini apples um, I got here rather early, so we're gonna walk kind of slowly because the bus only comes every like one or two hours. Um, so we're gonna slowly meander up here to the farm and we're gonna pick some apples. How about that? I'm excited. It smells like manure everywhere, but I'm thankful for it. So let's go get some sapo. little kids um, but so yeah we're doing the package um, and I'm making apple pie and then we're gonna pick the mini apples so that's what's going on and everyone has been very nice and the kids are very well behaved actually usually when it's like a kid thing I'm a little nervous but the kids are good so far they're super cute and funny so I approve of apple picking kids let's make some pie <laughs> Got nothing new to talk about. Got I in love with the girl downtown. Okay, step one completed. Um, I don't really know what's going on, but that's okay. This does not look like what I thought I would make, but. I also wasn't expecting to make a pie today. I thought we were just making jam. So, who knows? It's still exciting. The people are nice. That's all he can ask for. <laughs> forget my troubles and move to Memphis Maybe change my name But since you left me Cry at your door I'll never be the same I'll never be the same Tasting time. Oh, the jam is so nice and hot. Yummy, it's really tart. I like it. Mm. Success. Well, I'm pleased. Even though this is like 100% a little kid's thing, like a lot more than I thought it would be, it's still super cute. And I got a little apple pie out of it. And the jam is so good.
In case you can't tell, I have very little idea of what is going on, but I'm just kind of following the crowd and everything's going well. Now we are heading to pick our mini sagua. And the only instructions I got were fill this up. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh my God. <laughs> What are these? I'm in love. They look like little mushrooms. <laughs> like little toadstools, but they're squash. Oh my god. <laughs> Be still, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. So, funny enough, I actually used to work for a fruit stand. I worked at a farmer's market during the summers, and the fruit stand that I worked at was involved in um, stone fruits and nuts, so like peaches, apricots, apriums, pluots, etc. Um, but then switching seasons, it would also do apples, and I always felt really cool because I would get like an apple discount if I was, because I didn't work in apple season. Um, I would always be able to like, go to my my stand at the farmer's market and they'd give me an apple discount and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. I had like achieved my peak. But this is this is just as great. I'm glad that I can keep doing this. And this is this was 20 bucks for the whole activities of like making the pie. We're going to make jam. We're picking all these apples that we get to take home. Um not a bad deal at all. Just the pain of getting here, but overall this is like really really cute and yeah it's just good vibes all around so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna like finish up and uh go make some jam <laughs> dog. <laughs> Next up, feeding the animals. Yes. Oh, they already know what's happening. They're pumped. You guys hungry? Uh, I was given no direction as far as how to do this. Looking goat. I mean, do you even eat apples? I don't know if you do. What a strange day today has been. <laughs> I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to feed them, and I think like they're getting fed constantly all day, so I fed them each a little bit. And now we're gonna go make some jam. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
wow okay i think i've done everything there is to do except for the trampoline and the rail bike which i don't I don't need to partake in sorry I'm blurry um, so she said that the container says that it's juice but she actually filled it with jam so I'm not just gonna drink it right now I'm gonna go home and see what's going on in there um, so yeah I have my apples um, this was super cute definitely like I said definitely a little kid thing but still if you like came with a bunch of friends I think you could make it really fun I had fun by myself honestly so we're gonna go home now and um, maybe we'll make something a little bit later with these apples and yeah start the long trek home but this was so fun for just 20 bucks um, and then they have in the gift shop they have like apple cider vinegar or just apple vinegar um, and a couple other things so overall just really really cute and Let's head home, okay? Successful day. <laughs> Good morning, it's another day and I have saved the apples. Um, they made it safely home. And we are going to try a rice cooker recipe. I'm going to try and make a apple cake and most of the recipes that I found wanted to do another one of those like upside down cakes where there is fruit like a layer of fruit at the very top of the cake which is when you're baking it the bottom um, and the last two times I did that I had issues with it burning and rather than try to experiment this time and waste the apples I'm just gonna try and make <clears throat> an apple cake without, I'm losing my voice, an apple cake without the top apple layer. And I will link um, whose recipe I'm using down below. Sweet little Italian man, but he's just baking away with his rice cooker. Thank you very much, sir. So yeah, let's go uh, make some mini apple cake, shall we? Let's go. There we go. Okay, it smells so good. Oh, she's pretty. Actually, she is ready to go. I think she's a lot thinner than my normal cake, so I think she's gonna be cooked all the way through. There she is. Just hunks of apple. This is also super hot. <laughs> Very hot. Very hot. I think you could have done with the lemon zest. I didn't have any lemon on me and my lime is not looking hot. It's been in the fridge for way too long. It tastes more like a bread than a cake. It's still really good. I'm actually, I should probably make a cup of coffee. This would be really yummy super cinnamony um i actually like the skin on it what's that steaming hot apple oh yeah the apple parts are still really really hot but i'm a big fan and this is gonna be my lunch so i'm really excited so anyway i'm gonna wrap it up here right as the vegetable man comes down my street with his megaphone i believe that the farm is open all through October. I'm, I kind of went on the tail end of the season, so um, hopefully you can save this for next year, and maybe next year they'll have an easier way to get there um, without jumping the barrier in the highway. But yeah, I'm very pleased with this. Oh, wait, I also have... Hold on, I'm back. I forgot that they also gave me 
that jam. So when I was leaving, they gave me four of these filled with their actual apple juice, and it was so good. Actually, Kurt stole two of them because they were so delicious. My hard-earned apple juice, they gave it to me because I'm an adult and I didn't use the trampoline or something like that. Um, but this is the one that she filled with jam. So let's see. Okay, this would be so good for pancakes. Did I even get that on film? I just realized. Let me take another little bite. Oh, what a shame. I have to eat another piece of cake. Yeah. It's a little more liquidy than I'm used to with a jam, but because it's not juice, by the way. This would be so good on pancakes. Like, I can't even explain. That's dangerous. That's really good. Couldn't be more pleased. So thank you for coming along with me, and I hope that um, you're all kind of getting your last bits of autumn. I saw some people had snow like in their part of the world. They had like their first snow of the year in October before Halloween. So I'm filming this before Halloween. Um, so yeah, man, just hope you're getting as much autumn as you can um, or spring as you can for all my people below the equator. But yeah, oh, I'm gonna be in a great mood today. I'm gonna eat this entire cake, I know it. So, okay, catch you later. Thank you as always, sending love, bye.